sixth month, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. Greetings. You who are highly favored, the Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled by his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will be with child and give birth to a son. And you are to give him the name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. How will this be, since I am a virgin? The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. I am the Lord's servant. May it be to me as you have said. Then the angel left her. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph, but before they came together, she was found to be with child through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was a righteous man and did not want to expose her to public disgrace, had in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will be, save his people from their sins. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took Mary home as his wife. Augustus issued a decree that a census should take, be taken of the entire Roman world, and everyone went to his own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him was expecting a child. There was no room for them in the inn.
There were shepherds living out in the field nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloth and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth to men with whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and had gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed, and all of Jerusalem with him. When he had called together all the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Christ was to be born. In Bethlehem, in Judea, they replied, for this is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, in 
the land of Judah are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you will come a ruler who will be the shepherd of my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and make a careful search for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me, so that I may go and worship him. After they had heard the king, they went on their way, and the star they had seen in the east went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. They opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold and of incense and of myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. What does it mean? Even as she pondered, so we should ponder. The real meaning of the birth is not evident till the crucifixion and the resurrection. He was born to die for our sins, born that we might have eternal life. Friends, this is the cause of the joy we celebrate this Christmas season. Church of God, we want to thank everyone for coming out tonight for our living nativity, and that is our prayer that you remember the true meaning of the season that we have uh, come to celebrate Jesus Christ, that He is the gift that was given to this world through our Father, and so we just want to take this opportunity to thank you, to love on you guys, and to appreciate you coming out. We have cocoa and cookies that are going to be served in the garage, and we're going to have carols as well. So. You're invited to hang out for a little bit. If you want to come and pet some of the animals, you can do so. Um, thank you guys for coming. Have a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.